16th century, the Catholic Church had great power and influence on the people of Europe. The Church stated their beliefs regarding God, Jesus Christ, the world, and how citizens should behave. The Church preached what ideas they wanted people to believe and the ideals people should live up by. And who went against the beliefs of the Church were excommunicated, imprisoned, or even burned at the stake. Most citizens feared the Church and abided by its rules in order to save themselves from torture and death. This is the story of a one man who dared to defy the church's authority and challenged Europeans to look to the heavens in an entirely new way. Hello, I am Giordano Bruno. Thank you for coming to Oxford today. As a boy, I was tutored at the Augustinian Monastery, and I have worked my way to become an ordained priest at only 24 years of age. I have been well known for my skill in the art of memory, amongst other educational skills. I have always been a man of God, and I am here to tell you the truths of the world. The earth is not the center of all of the universe. In fact, it revolves around the sun. In fact, there are many other worlds like ours surrounding us in the universe. The stars are actually other suns and other planets, and they are evenly distributed throughout our universe and contain life similar to life on our planet. The stars contain the same four elements as our planet has, water, air, earth, fire, Therefore, the laws of physics would also apply in the stars. And space and time are infinite. All organic matter of the universe is intelligent and made up of atoms. Every piece of matter, whether it's mineral, plant, or animal, has a soul, and all souls are interrelated. Every soul will be saved, even the devil himself. Dear Dino Bruno's radical ideas of the world made him a very unpopular man of his time. The Catholic Church exerted their power, stating that the Bible and everything the Church stood for was correct. Bruno had no right to question the teachings of the Church. The Church would not tolerate this challenge to its authority or risk losing power over its followers. Bruno was extradited to Rome and was charged for his destructive beliefs and disobedience of the Church. For eight years, Bruno was jailed and interrogated while awaiting trial. Bruno was charged with the crime of heresy for his belief that Jesus Christ was just a skillful magician and for challenging the ideas of the church. Multiple times the Roman Inquisition encouraged Bruno to recant his ideas and claim them to be an error, but Bruno would not renounce his beliefs. In 1600, the Roman Catholic Church executed Giordano Bruno by burning him at the stake. Thank you, Giordano Bruno, for braving the power of the Catholic Church and challenging their ideas of the world. You opened the pathway to discovery.